betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Race number eight, the www.gallop.tv.co.za. FM 82 handicap for fillies and mares over 1,200 meters. Jumps at 15.55. It looks to be a very, very competitive lineup. 13 horses go to the post. Warren, the betting is very open, but um, I quite like number eight, Sashay Away. The form is very good. Um, she's come after rest in her last start and won, which clearly shows that she has ability. And I just get the feeling that she's got bigger fish to fry come the KZN winter season. I disagree with you. I think it's a very easy race. Banker the field. <laughs> <laughs> on a more serious note, on a more serious note, uh, very difficult race. The average rating is an 82. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard to assess, but we're certainly going to try our very best. Ethiopian Queen certainly could set the standard, but as we said, nowhere near as easy as that. A horse that I need help with is number four, Dancer Melord. Because Dancer Milord is slowly starting to come down in the ratings. And she's never too far off the action. She's just doing enough to keep us interested. 16 to 1 about her. If she had to win, would you be shocked? Yeah, she's trading at uh, 15 to 1. I'd probably throw this one into back end of quartets and trifectas. Not one that I would really fancy, but lens-wise, never far back. Interesting to note that this horse now drops to 1,200 meters. Last run was over 1,400 meters, where she did race handy, but she does have a good draw. She certainly does indeed, and, and that's up the lane at Hollywood Bed Scottsville, drawn four, so certainly a lovely draw up the lane. Ethiopian Queen, number three, we've touched on, looks to be a progressive filly. Going back to the horse that you started the discussion with, Sashay Away. Warren Kennedy's ridden her once for one win, He's ridden 11 times for Peter Musket for four wins in two places. You're quite right. They could be rubbing their hands, this team uh, of Musket, Hollywood and Kennedy, rubbing their hands and saying, well, the KZN champion season or South Africa's champion season is around the corner and they could be looking to compete with this or Sasha away. And I think they could, already at an 89, I think she's better than that. So you could be on the right one here. If we were pressed for a first choice, I'd be in your camp with Sasha away. Yeah, I think there could be some value at uh, 7 to 2. I think she's been really well placed by the yard. I know it is the second run after the rest, but she clearly has ability. But it doesn't end there, you know. You can throw in a number of runners, as Warren touched on. Uh, number 9, Princess Donnelly. How has she come? Yes, yes, yes. She's got the DeMello factor. He's riding at the top of his game. Um, number 3, Ethiopian Queen. You touched on that. And number one, flying the star, always consistent, never far back lens-wise. That one's trading at 11 to 1. You've got to put horses like that in. Also number 13, Sav Star, not without a chance, Warren. One other, just to, uh, you know, just to, to add more to the list because that's that kind of race. In fact, two more. Even number 11, Nakia, is holding her form. She goes okay at the course. She's won at the course before. And Rachel Venneker knows her every stride. So don't ignore number 11, Nakia. And when I took the betting down for value, number 10, Maquette. You look at Maquette's overall form. Beaten Ancient Epic, beaten Vivacious, fifth two lengths to star act, was the fastest finishing, got cleaned up at the start. Last time out, okay, it was a, not a good run. Second to last, so that uh, was a bad run. But she's had one bad run. She's lightly raced. There's been five runners, two winners out of that form line where Social Butterfly won. And they've priced her up at 25 to 1. That's not, and that's not her price in my opinion. So I'm going to be including her as well. But after all is said and done, a, a very difficult race. We've spoken about quite a few of these runners. I'm very much in your camp. Narrow first choice, Sasha away. I'm looking forward to seeing her compete here. 
There you heard it from Warren and myself. We both like number eight, Sashay Away, but it is an open race and there are many, many horses with a chance. So if you want to throw in a few, I wouldn't put you off because it may be tricky in race number eight. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.